Hello everybody, this is Dr. Wes Fryer. Today is September the 29th, 2020, and I'd like to show you how you can add voice narration very simply to a Scratch project. So we have used Scratch in our fifth grade Spanish class this year to do some just real basic um, animate narration, really, that, and this doesn't even have much animation in it at all. So I'm gonna just make this full screen and click my green flag and you can say that these two monsters these were this is actually a project one of my students created um, just have like each two lines of dialogue that they say back and forth and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add the voice so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off a of full screen and I'm gonna click see inside to see this project and you can see that there are just two characters there's the dragon and there's the dinosaur and we've got the scripts that each one of them have and so what I want to do to add narration is I want to use my sounds and I want to record so let me move my picture over here and uh, I'm gonna need to record each one of these separately so this one says te gusta la basura so I'm gonna click on sounds and I'm gonna click down here on choose a sound and click on the microphone now I'll go ahead and click record. Te gusta la basura? And I'll stop. And I can drag these sliders so that I don't have a pause at the beginning or the end. You don't want to cut it off too soon, uh, but you don't need a long pause. And then I can play that to hear it. Te gusta la basura? And I'll go ahead and save. So it's important to see that I've clicked on the sprite that I want to say those words because these sound files are saved on that sprite. I don't really need this default sound that came, so I'll click on the trash can. But I also don't want to leave this called um, recording one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, te gusta basura. You don't have to spell it out fully. You can even number these one, two, and three. But over here in the code, you're going to be dragging out a sound block. So this is magenta. It's underneath the purple looks blocks, and it's under sound. You do not want to do the one that says play until done, okay? And the reason is you want it to show the words, and so you're going to use start sound. So when I drag this out, it has the last sound I worked on, Te, te Gusta Basura. I only have one here. I don't have any others to select. And so now when I click the green flag, it is going to say that sound or play that sound and then it's going to show these words. Te gusta la basura? All right. So I'm going to just do one more, but this is the same process you're going to repeat for each one of your characters, okay? So I'll click over on the dinosaur now because I want this red dinosaur to be talking and this dinosaur is going to be saying, "Sí, si, por supuesto, me gusta la basura mucho." So I'm going to go over to sounds. Again, I can delete what's here. And then when I click to insert it, I'm not clicking on the um, magnifying glass to search. I'm clicking the second choice to record. And um, I'll go ahead and record. Si, sí, por supuesto, me gusta la basura mucho. I will drag my sliders here so that I don't have too much extra space. I can play it. Si, sí, por supuesto, me gusta la basura mucho. And I'll go ahead and click save. I'll um, give it a name. See, si me gusta la basura. And then over here in code, I need to do the same thing. I'm going to drag out start sound. I'm going to do this after the wait block because in the technique that we're using, uh, we're using the same delay, four seconds for each one back and forth. And so this wait is letting the green dragon talk first. And now it's going to play that sound, si me gusta la basura. Yeah. So let's play this and hear what this sounds like now. Te gusta la basura? Si, por supuesto, me gusta la basura mucho. All right, and now we just need to do that for our remaining, um, our remaining dialogue um, speech bubbles. So I hope that's been helpful to you. If you're interested, uh, this is actually my first year to teach Spanish. I'm uh, getting to do that uh, as a result of our COVID-19 uh, smaller classes, but we're having a lot of fun and you can access 
these resources on the Spanish part of my website, which mainly has media and digital literacy resources, but it's also got some Spanish lesson resources, and that is on mdtech.cassidy.org slash Spanish. Or if you're on the homepage, you can simply go up here to the top and you can click Spanish and either go directly to lessons or I have these linked. Actually, I think I need to put a link there because uh, it's in the drop down. And this is called our Spanish Scratch Dialogue Projects. Thanks a lot. Good luck.